morning, everyone. Uh, right now, we're uh, heading to uh, a donut shop to pick up some donuts because we're doing a drive to Zuma Cars and Coffee, and I like to bring donuts and hand them out. I mean, they put a, the hood scoop on the F8. Obviously, it's meant to put a donut box. So uh, we're going to pick up donuts right now uh, and do a drive to Zuma Cars and Coffee. And then later today, we, uh, we're gonna go to the hangar and work on the Screaming Chicken. Hashtag new merch. <laughs> so uh, we're gonna go to Cars and Coffee right now, head to the hangar later, work on the Screaming Chicken. Just, we have an amazing day planned with lots of stuff. So uh, yeah, stay tuned. Okay, so we just pulled up to the meeting spot. Um, already a few cool cars here, I'll show you around. Maserati just pulled up. Got a few cool things here, some more things coming. I got Good morning. Guy doing car guys things. Mm. And we got the, the donut oh, we holder. Too. <laughs> we brought the donut holder. For German Christmas tree pulling up. <laughs> got Gabe pulling up in the straight pipe C8. Got the GT3 pulling up. <laughs> got more Volkswagens pulling up. Got the F8 pulling up. Today we're going to be taking the freeway because we're running low on time, as usual. So we're going to hop on the 101 uh, to the 405, then to the 90, and then get off at Lincoln. We usually miss the Lincoln exit, so we're going to try not to. Uh, it kill, if you want to put in the address, oh, killer shrimp. shrimp, and it should take you directly there. Uh, if you're going to follow cars, uh, preferably an orange one, that's about it. Have fun, and uh, let's go. <laughs> Okay, so uh, we just hopped on the freeway uh, with like 30 cars or however many showed up. Uh, and we're gonna try to get all organized and not lose each other on the freeway. Uh, but we're heading to the cars and coffee right now. Um, so yeah, let's try to get some rollers of like the cars and stuff and uh, we'll talk to you guys when we get there. Let's do it. Guys, we just got to the meet. Tons of crazy cars here. Gonna get some nice little shots, some rollers, some pictures of everything we got going. Orange car, up doors. Orange car, no up doors. Lame. Yellow car, up doors. English car, kind of, kind of up doors. It has like the the ballerina doors or whatever they're called. Do these? They Actually, they like they kind of go like up like. That. What? Yeah, as they, long as they don't have any electronics in there, fine. The new uh, Corvette C9. Old Corvette C8. Another orange up doors. Apparently, we started a trend. Another Ferrari C8. New paddock on my wrist. Wow, that was some shit, pink. Yeah, you like that? Should we get the? Should we put the snakes on the Ferrari? Oh, dude, that's it. Let's do it. I guess it's comfortable around here. Yep, we got Remy. Wow. Hey, Trying on. to crank some tunes. Come on, come on let, let go of him. <laughs> Trying to get her to let go of him. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that wasn't what I was going for, but Orange Ferrari gang ain't tripping. 
<laughs> hey, that snake's probably cleaner than me, so it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, possibly, possibly. Did you shower today, sir? I, they did. I took my monthly shower a few there weeks you ago. Go. We're fine. There you go. <laughs> I took my two-week shower uh, two days ago. Yeah, we're good. We're good for <laughs> for another two weeks. Come on. The inside? Yeah, yeah, he's just chilling. Yeah, they're like, they're just like frozen. They're not even slithering around. <laughs> Dude, they're just taking a nap. We're never getting mad at here. He's like in there deep. Dude, he's so cute. He's just chilling in there. It's like a hammock for him. It scared me. Where's this guy's head? Hey, you're like, oh, did a snake get lost in the car? Wouldn't be the first time. Wouldn't be the last. <laughs> Thank you, my guy. Thank you. Yes, sir. Okay, so Don's messing around on Facebook Marketplace and he finds a, what's it called? A mega squirt. Mega squirt. So we can uh, maybe shoot some flames. Apparently the thing will tune the screaming chicken. So I just zell the guy and we're going to send an Uber to go pick it up and we're going to have it delivered here to Steve's Cars and Coffee at Killer Shrimp. And, and this is because delivery is not included in Delivery is not included in the price, so the thing... So we're still we're still at budget. We're still, well, we're like a hundred bucks over budget. We'll still have some parts. Oops. Yeah, there's there's some bits on there that... Or what we can do is bribe the judges once we get there. I have a feeling we're going to have to bribe the judges anyway, but unrelated <laughs> to that, we're going to try to keep as, as strict to the budget as we can just for funsies. So we bought a super squirter or something like that that's supposed to tune this, our screaming chicken you know, to make it safer on the track so it doesn't spit flames and fire. Or does spit flames or and fire. Or does spit fu <sighs> Whatever, the point is we bought a super squirter and the guy's, it's in an Uber two blocks away and the guy's gonna drop it off any moment now, so. Oh yeah. Thank you. Mega squirt. Okay. Ooh. Car bits. More car bits. This looks like the shit we threw out of the car. <laughs> that is true. That looks like something we already took out. That's something Ooh, we bought to put in. We're working the wrong direction here. All right, guys. We're on our way. Right now, race. Bruh. All right, guys. We just left the meet. We're going to go for a quick little drive on PCH. Obviously, we're in the FA. We've got the FA with yes, us. We do. We've got Gabe over there in the Corvette. Kind of hard to see him. AMG behind us, McLaren GT. Elliot's coming by in the MC20. This is gonna be fun. Yay! Guys, we made it to the canyons, if you couldn't tell, and you know, just driving around. <laughs> first time driving a F8. Fuck, first time driving a Rari. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like a jet. Crazy. I'm speechless. Do I, how do I park? There's no park. You turn the car off. That's it? Yeah, turn the car off. How fast were you guys going? Like 150 something? I'm speechless. On the way this up? Bro. I couldn't floor it. Yeah. I went over from there, and started there probably up until I started seeing you guys, like halfway. I was already at. <laughs> at I was like, okay, it's gripped. I floored it. I hit like here, and then I slammed the fucking brakes because I started just tripping. Fast. It just goes. Yeah. It spun it like. 
<laughs> I shifted and it fucking and I let <laughs> What the and then this thing is even faster? For what? <laughs> For fuck all what? <laughs> like Bro. You don't need faster than that. <laughs> wow. Did you have you driven his Porsche? Yes. Okay. And I've driven a GT3 RS and I've driven a GT4. It's it's not even comparable. I don't even know why I'm naming them. <laughs> like <laughs> So, we're back here at the hangar, gonna start ticking around with electronics, maybe finish hooking up that radiator fan, test drive the car, get a baseline before we install this, uh, what the hell's it called? Mega squirt power relay. But first things first, gotta move all the cars around, get it set up so we can um, tick around with the car. Cool transition. Or you could go on the other hangar. You wanna go bring the F8 over there right now, so in case it rains? Yeah. So I'll go follow you over with the Viper. So I just pulled out the uh, screaming chicken and uh, it runs a little rough. So basically what happened is we tried filming an episode last week where, uh, here, I'll, I'll show you by opening the hood, hold on. Give me one second. So basically we tried filming an episode last week where we we're just gonna strip stuff out of the engine that we didn't need because we didn't need like a lot of the vacuum systems for the heater and stuff like that. Uh, and we were gonna try to get the fan working and we spent like all day tearing parts out of this car. Here, I'll show you. We have the box of parts we took out. We saved them because we could sell some of this stuff for our budget, but like just all sorts of parts that we didn't need. Uh, we pulled out and we ended up losing all the footage. I don't know how an SD card got corrupt or something, but we'd have none of the footage for that. So if you look inside, it's a little more barren than it was before. Like some of the vacuum vacuum lines are like tied off and stuff like that. So that's why we bought the Mega Squirt was to make it run a little nicer. Uh, so we're we're gonna try to install the Mega Squirt today. But before we do that, we have more pressing matters, which is uh, Idan. What are you doing right now? Cutting vinyl. Cutting yeah. vinyl. Okay. So what do you wait? So Idan, what are you, what are you doing right now? Uh, video. What size did you make it originally? Uh, I don't know. Let's see. Oh, that's big. We're cutting this out on vinyl to go stick on the hood of the car. Which that's is a little more pressing than installing a Mega Squirt. Even though that will make the car run better, this is obviously adds a lot of horsepower, so it's very important. <laughs> By the way, orangeferragang.com forward slash shop or just go to the website. It should be the first link in the description, so go check it out. Buy these shirts. Shirt's sick. Use code, what, what code do we want to do? OFG what? How, mu what, how much do you want to give off? Let's give them. First 20 people to buy the shirt get 50% off. 50% off? Okay, fine. So code OFG50, 50% 50 off the shirt? Yeah, why not? Here. We got a screw chicken coming. These lines are weak, you think, by the way. No, actually, it's like squares. Is that weird? Electronic tweezers are really good for the stuff. You want a little screwdriver? Oh, Upward, easier. That's all. No, exactly. What? Back where do we want to put? Yeah, where do we want to put it? The back? Oh, just on the body? Don't you think? Yeah, we could do there. There's now. With my credit card. That's actually pretty sick. That's so cool. Once we up it, like all these little lines become big and then it's not a problem. Same with the eyes. Yeah, Dude, that's so cool. That really is dope. That looks so good. Okay, make another one. <laughs> that's so sick. Make another one. That actually fun. looks really good. John, you want to Wow. That's actually really sick. I like that a lot, I'm not gonna lie. That's so cool. <laughs> so, as some of you may or may not know, uh, this hood may or may not have hit me in the back of the head once or twice. We'll try, because it's showing. Like it's moving. Uh, I think that was a lost footage, wasn't it? But anyway, uh, maybe. For safety, I went and spent ten dollars on these bitchin' little struts. I'm gonna put in right now. So safety, that, so it's not budget. Yeah, you know, for ten bucks, I think we'll let it slide. I'll, I'm willing to do a lap, not to get hit in the back of the head again. 
Uh, this is bent. I need pliers. That'll be me. Okay, so we just got the struts working. Got the struts working. Boom. Now it's gonna hit you in the chin instead of the head. But whatever. Um, this is a fan relay that I bought for eight bucks on the Zon. And what this does is uses low voltage from the switch to run high voltage from the battery directly to the fan so it doesn't pop. And then you have a breaker, and it's supposed to have like a, a thermostat, but we're gonna do it old school, where you just flip a switch, it turns on. Uh, the only problem is I had a very concrete plan for how to do this in my head, and then I promptly forgot because it's been a week or two, and I'm old, forget things. I'm not old, I'm sorry, I'm presidential. So yeah, I gotta remember which wire was which for the fan. That was probably the old relay. I'm gonna leave that in place, toss in a new relay for us, and just wire directly to the battery. And that's that. I think that'll work. Okay, so explain the setup you have going on right now. Okay, we're using the Fiat battery through two trickle charger cables to get power to the relay board, which then runs into our Mega Sport ECU, which supposedly, right, if I do that, it opens up. Click enter, click enter, click enter, click enter, click enter. Oh, it's standing up. No, it's sending the phone more. Oh, it's updating it's, the thing. Uh, yeah, we're, we're updating it. That's you got good. it? Good news. it out? Yeah. Does that mean we can shoot flames? Eventually. <laughs> good thing I opened it if up. If I we drink enough coffee, it. I shoot flames. <laughs> okay. Well, Don't you're ripping stuff out? Yeah, I'm looking for the ECU, which is somewhere in here. Found it. It's up there. Yeah, that's that. You found the ECU? I think that's the ECU. Two options. Option one, we take the chance, because I don't know which ECU this is. We take option one, take the chance, make that, build that board, hook it up, pull this one, hook that one up, right? It sits in the factory locations, which saves us a lot of time and everything. Option two, I cut these wires and hope for the best. No, I like option wide in here. I wasn't paying close attention. But the option two is we pull this harness out, cut off that original connector, and wire it up to that. Or op box. what was the other one? Option two is I build that board. We buy the parts, build the board. And then oh, it, the, conver the build plug and play yeah, version? Yeah, and then... Let me see. There's a lot of cables. Yeah, that's, that's like a whole thing. Uh, and then with the... Fuck is all this stuff? So it's either. All right. I don't know. Well, so what do you want to do? You want to get the border? Well, let, let's finish the fan and see how it runs, because yeah. we're kind of in a in a weird place. I just got uh, this should turn on a fan. That does turn on the fan. That worked. Oh, that's so you're, you're gonna finish stuff? doing this, and then we'll uh, we'll see how it runs. Yeah. Now it's just gonna run. Well, we're gonna wrap up the wires, zip tie all the wires, and then we'll take it for test drive, I think. So, okay, we connected the fan. We got it running anytime the car's on, or rather, anytime it's connected. The fan's gonna be running 24 seven, basically, until we disconnect it. We got the car dialed in. All the vacuum leaks are fixed. Everything seems to be ready to test drive without any cooling issues. We circumvented all that, that leaky situation from last time, so I think it'll be good. We just gotta basically try to do some burnouts. I mean, drive it around, test drive it. Okay, I'll follow you in the Viper. Fair. Uh, we are gonna go get some rollers of this thing, make sure it runs properly.
only we had a mega squirt to get this thing running nicely. That would be great. Oh damn, it still shoots flames. <laughs> oh damn, I missed that. <laughs> It just started raining and we have no roof, so it's a it's a little wet I think in here. That we have a phone back. Oh yeah, it's raining. Woo! It's wet. It's wet. It's raining and there's no roof. Oh no! It's wet. <laughs> it's cold and wet. So we barely made it back, it started raining. We were trying to get some rolling shots and you know, test it out a little bit. Runs good, doesn't idle very stable. When it warms up, it's a little funky. I can't tell if it's timing or fuel mixture or what the hell's going on. Hopefully Don's little mad science experiment is gonna work out and we'll be able to tune this thing. But other than that, it's definitely better than it was, but still not quite there. See us next time. We're gonna work on the car some more, but don't forget to smash your junk and follow your friends right there, wherever the, the button is. You too can smash the like and follow the subscribe. Anyway, you know what to do. See you next time.